Today marks the launch of RBI Baseball 18, and this is the first baseball game coming out this year on the Xbox. Super Mega Baseball 2 will come out shortly after that, but if you're looking for an MLB experience, this is the only game that will come out on Xbox. Being someone that has a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox, and I know many of you out there only have an Xbox, and you've wanted to play the show, but you maybe can't afford or haven't got a PS4 yet, I thought I would pick this up play it and let you guys know whether it's worth your time or not. So in this video, we're going to take a look at RBI Baseball 18's features and more. So when first jumping in, the graphics on the interface look really, really clean. Like the menus are snappy. The music is nice. Like the actual player photos are really cool too. You know, they have this new redesigned menu, which is nice as well. It's pretty amazing. It looks really good. It rivals that of MLB The Show. Now there's a few ways you can play exhibition offline you can play online multiplayer new to the game this year is a franchise mode looks like you can go 10 years in that franchise we're going to jump into that in a little bit and talk about what that actually means you can play home run derby there's a postseason bracket at which you can play and that about sums it up so general exhibition pretty straightforward we're actually not going to play that first we're going to jump straight into franchise mode because i know many of you are actually curious is this something that you can play this year. Now, the franchise mode menus and the team selection looks really good. I mean, taking a look at all the different team ratings and player ratings here, the menus look clean, the actual player cards and the details of them. This looks really good. I mean, I wish MLB The Show would look something similar like this. Looks like RBI Baseball has the leg up in visual design for the user interface, you know, the menus. However, when you jump into the game, it's a completely different story. Here, take a look. Now, of course, MLB The Show has retro mode from the same camera. There's a noticeable difference between retro mode and RBI Baseball. MLB The Show's retro mode looks so much better. The gameplay is so much better. I can't even begin to talk about it. From the swinging, from the player likeness, from the uniform likeness and field, the animations, you know, graphics in general, like MLB The Show is miles ahead of RBI Baseball. It's kind of sad to think they have haven't been able to catch up in this department yet. I mean, this just goes to show how difficult it is to build a baseball game over time. I mean, this is like, what, the fourth or fifth year of RBA baseball, and they're still struggling to catch up with graphics and gameplay. Not only that, but all of the players, they don't have their head scans. I mean, look at Jose Ramirez. That's not even him. That's just like a random dude. It's supposed to be him. I mean, some of the other players have their faces. It looks like Francisco Lindor, he does, but of course he's on the cover so they probably worked a little bit extra to get his face in the game but like outside of that he just looks like his head's on another random player's body like none of these players stand out as they should in the game the fielding is clunky and sluggish the swinging is weird the pitching is you know kind of weird as well i mean if you're looking to just play casual on the couch with friends and maybe dink around here and there i could maybe see you want to get this but man the gameplay the animations the the actual the actual game is not great at all. It's it's very, very rough. The design and the menus is good, but the gameplay is very rough. Looking detailed into franchise, it looks like you can only have a roster of 25 and then you have these reserves outside of the starters. There is no minor leagues. We were curious about what the 10 consecutive seasons meant, so we simulated throughout the entire year. There are some course some injuries that were cool and some reserves had to play a role there. One of the coolest things about that though when I was taking a look at the free agents, you can actually put legends onto the team. And, and of course, there's no contracts, there's no dollars, there's no negotiation. And so you could just sign whoever you wanted. And so I got you know, Reggie Jackson and Jeff Carter. There's a ton of nice legends here before the 90s and after the 90s, even some that MLB The Show doesn't have, which I thought was cool. Now, we also did a three-person trade. We put the trades on strict, but we were still able to push through a trade that was questionable and it seemed to not matter about what the contracts were of these players maybe it was just overall or I, I'm not too sure but the trade went through it all went down and then 
then we simulated through the rest of the season. And when we got to the end, you know, we simulated in the postseason. The Astros lost to the Indians here in the first round, and then the season was over. And then I was curious about how they would handle year number two, moving into 2019. And so there was some retirings, which was cool. Some players retired, but there, because there's no contracts, there's no free agency, there was no re-signing or contract renewals. You know, of course you can trade, um, but there wasn't really any season movements. Now, however, there was kind of this weird draft thing where it created a bunch of new players. There wasn't a draft, but it just dumped them all into a free agent pool. And so what you did is you got to choose one player and that one player then join your team as a reserve. And so it was kind of like drafting, but not. But after it went through that, it immediately jumps you right into the next season. No spring training, right into the regular season. And you start it all over again. And then it goes on like that for 10 seasons. So not really a full featured franchise, but something that you can at least play multiple seasons in and build and trade and see how you do. I mean, it actually has like league leaders and standings and statistics, which I thought was cool. Even the legends got to see how good the legends did, you know, uh, after playing the entire year. Outside of that, we played the Home Run Derby. It was kind of, you know, it is whatever. Like MLB The Show Home Run Derby is much better. It wasn't challenging. It felt like I was just, you know, kind of playing a mobile game. Like I was just trying to get good timing. And then he was hitting the ball out. And I think I got like 15 home runs with Cody Bellinger. And then I was kind of just bored. I didn't want to play anymore. Nothing really stood out about it. Uh, It kind of just was what it was. So all in all, I wouldn't recommend buying this game if you're really into baseball. I think it's time. You have to get a PS4 and you have to get MLB The Show. But if you're looking to play baseball more casually, I would hold out on this and I would look forward to Super Mega Baseball 2, which is coming out. Much more enjoyable of a game. Of course, it doesn't have real MLB players or teams, but the fun factor and the gameplay is much better than RBI Baseball. uh, So I'd pass on that. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. For more MLB The Show and other baseball gaming videos, Tune in right here. So until the next one, we'll see ya. Peace.